Hello and welcome to this little demonstration of Lifeless. As you see here, I've already got a game of Drop Fortress Lord. So let's go right in and start Lifeless. And as soon as it's loaded, it will begin getting the data from the game and build a 3D map. While it's building, we can already move it around. Uh, this would slow it down a bit. I uh, should also note that uh, it will run a bit slower since I'm recording and compressing the video at the same time here. As you can see, I have the Lifeless window active and moving around in it also moves around in the Draw Fortress uh, window. And as such also all key presses like I just pressed K will be transferred over to it. For example, for allowing a more exact control. And I'll also be able to designate things. Like for example, let's make a staircase. And now we can unpause the game. And soon a miner should come by and dig it out. There we go. And we now have the staircase. And there we go. Updates of the landscape won't be as fast at the beginning as they don't uh, happen very often. But if you want, you can uh, change that in the config. You will also notice that we can see uh, the dwarfs here. The model is a bit small at the moment, but I plan to make this more visible later on. I want to unpause the game. You will see these dwarfs running through the uh, view. Again, the updates here aren't as fast as uh, in-game, but uh, they should be pretty decent. Now let's pause the game again. You will notice that I've been zooming in and out. That happens by pressing the middle mouse button and moving it up and down. In the lower right corner here, we have buttons to increase the view range. You should also note that this also increases the amount of data Lifeless has to update from Draw Fortress while it's running. So that may sl slow down things a bit more than uh, just the rendering effort. And additionally, we can use this here to slide the view up and down and get a view into the underground. And since doing this all the time is a bit uncomfortable, there's also a ceiling lock button here. If you activate it, the view will also always be locked to the level of the cursor. You will see a bunch of red cubes here. Those are buildings uh, for which I haven't made specific models yet. You will notice that there's actually uh, door models already here. Here for example. They are pretty basic but they are serviceable and pretty much in order to get the other buildings running, I only need more models so I can replace them. In the background here, you will also see items. Uh, blue, well, for now they are only blue mush, but that's the same issue as with the buildings. I haven't made models for them yet. However, I already do have the ability to uh, differentiate between them and pretty much only need the graphic assets. You also have another building for which I made a model here, a workshop. See it has a raised floor and the squares of one. And well, for now that's it. 